Folk, gather round, ladies and gentlemen. Come, come as close as you can. Try not to get too wet. Croeso i bawb y mae heddiw croeso i flaen y ffistiniog. Mae hi'n bwrw yn anffodus. You've noticed, perhaps, that it's raining. This is a very important part of the tradition of the town of flaen y ffistiniog, and it really wouldn't be fair to bring you here on a sunny day. I'd just like to say a very quick word. A personal note of thanks to everybody who has been involved in this magnificent project. You see the fruits of all the hard work on this side of the platform here. The newest steam locomotive in the world, I assume, unless one's just been built on the quiet. Thank you very much to everybody for coming. Thank you very much to the children of Ascolman of Ferren for entertaining us with their songs and their music. Diochen fawr iawn i chi gyd ac rwan croeso cynnas i'n cadeirydd Dr. John Prydo. Diochen fawr, diochen fawr. Good afternoon. We're celebrating. And Dlino's like let, let us some extra rain just to help our celebrations this afternoon. So we've got three things I think we want to celebrate, or I would like to celebrate with you this afternoon. The first one is the memory of James Spooner. James Spooner, who is the original engineer of the Festinog Railway. 
The second thing I'd like to celebrate with you is our magnificent new engine. And the third thing, to perhaps put it in a context, is I'd like to celebrate with you our railway. Amazing, quite magnificent new engine. Which, as David has said, is the newest steam engine anywhere in the world. I'm not going for this story that the Chinese got another one they've sneakily not told us about. It is the newest steam engine anywhere in the world. And it is a magnificent achievement, and a magnificent achievement which has been made here in this part of Wales which its engine is going to be number eight, because number eight was the traditional number in the Festinog Railway for an engine called James Spooner. But for me, it'll be number eight because it took us eight years to get to finishing it. It's a lot of work, a long time, and there's been a lot of people involved. And if one thing really stands out, I would say it's the amazing teamwork which has gone on at Boston Lodge and I'd like to start by thanking everybody who's been involved. Despite COVID, and I'm sorry that I mean, COVID's still with us, and I'm, we're very sorry that Paul Lewin can't be with us today because he's got COVID. He's recovering, so it's all right in that when he came out and waved to us. But it's really sad that after all this effort, he couldn't be here to enjoy it and to enjoy it with you. Now, on that note, I think you've heard quite enough from me for our celebration in the rain at Lina Festinio. So I'd like to thank you all for coming and joining us today for our celebration, and I'd like to hand over to John Wally, who is our chief engineer. So, back to Mr. James Spooner. Um, we've heard how he laid out the railway running smoothly downhill for the gravity trains, but also, in his time as manager, he, he instigated changes to the railway for the introduction of steam engines. So the first James Spooner might have been built in Bristol, but we have made the majority of this logo here in North Wales. And we're very proud of this, as keeping the skills required alive to build and maintain a logo like this is very important for the railway to have a sustainable future. So we started work on the project actually in 2014 and the plan at first was a replacement boiler design that would replace the, the, the boilers in the other uh, double fairies which were getting older. So we first unveiled it at the recent bygones weekend where we got many admirers looking at the loco um, including four descendants of Mr. Robert Francis Fairley. Uh, they came from Peru, the United States and South Africa. And because I was driving the locomotive that day, I was able to introduce them to uh, a descendant of James Spooner, Mr. Nigel Spooner, who is here today. So that was very pleasing. So again, I would like to thank everybody who's worked to build such a fantastic new engine. Dioch and Bauer to you all.
Anyway, Sam, come and join me. We have a, a, a small present to give you, Sam. So I hope you're feeling strong.